Welcome back to a special Slugmet presentation of the Slugball Championship. Brought to you by our new sponsor, Black Industries. Black Industries, bringing you tomorrow's yesterday, today. I'm Bob Johnson. As always, with me, my co-host, Blast Vanderhuge. Blast! It's been quite a week for Slugball, Bob. Taking us all the way to the semifinals and just one game away from the Slugball Cup. If you're just joining us, the Beast Ford Shock and Rollers just scored against the Deadweed Miners, giving them a 3-1 lead. Replay. Team Captain Grendel out in front with a perfect play. There wasn't a miner in sight. That is how you do it, Bob. That is how you do it. Time out on the field, and it looks like Grendel's using it to, to visit with the fans. Ah, you need it! Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> Cord even brought his glove, hoping he'll catch a loose ball. Get out of town, you play? Well, you know, just for fun. Mostly when I was a kid. Cord's being modest. I've seen him play. He could totally go pro if he wanted to. <laughs> shucks. Thanks. Joining us here in the booth, the commissioner of Slugball himself, Primo Presto. The pleasure's all mine. How about those rollers? They get their whole cavern blown up during the Beast Forge accident and turn to Slugball to find meaning in their broken, empty lives. It kind of makes you tear up, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Inspiring. And now they're this close to the finals, where they'll face off against defending champions, the Blade City Brutes. A team recently purchased by Dr. Black, no less. How do you respond to the rumors that Black was involved in the destruction of the Beast Forge? <laughs> I'm not one to comment on rumors, especially when Dr. Black is involved. And play him a song, kiddies. Thanks for the seats. And we're back into it. First period, 3-1 rollers. You can really feel the tension between these two rival captains, can't you? Here we go. The shock and rollers take possession. 32 passes to 15. Miners firing heavy hitters. 15 dodges one, can't avoid the other, but is able to get the ball to Ryder 63. Trap deployment! 63 definitely makes his way through them, so the miners start slinging. Ah, ooh, a frost crawler to the midsection. And that'll cool his jets, Bob. What's this? Boom, look at that. He decides sketching a dog back. If the shock and rollers keep playing at this level, Bob, they're going to make a real run for the cup. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see. Grendel on a run up the middle. He's avoiding the random obstacles like he knows what's coming. But he isn't alone as two miners give chase. Yeah. Ooh. Grendel on the approach and... Welcome to Trap Deployment City. Look at all those traps, Bob. Grendel! situation, but Team Captain Grendel quickly gets off an erect net slug, and he's safe. No pedicure for the captain this time, Bob. Is that part of the game? Actually, no. <laughs> Stay away! Don't touch it! Dude, no one's touching it. Good. Keep not touching it. <laughs> You'd think a professional athlete would be able to take the pain better. And yet, not so much. The universe is full of surprises. We checked the circuit board from the arena trap that malfunctioned. The wires were frayed just enough to break during the game. What are you saying? This was sabotage? <gasps> That's exactly what I'm saying. It's gotta be Black's team. We know he's not above cheating. Hang on, I know the brutes. They're a little rough and tumble, sure. But they're slugball players, not cheaters. Whoa, whoa, everybody just slow down. I don't like where this is headed. Sabotage, cheaters. 
Grendel, baby, you know I respect you. But your little tykes just can't go throwing accusations around. You get proof, then we'll talk. All right, Primo. You want proof? You got it. But Eli, this is the finals. What about the game? <laughs> I got bad news for you, kid. You see, your friend's team needs four players. With him out of the game, that means you're one short, which means forfeit. What about the reserve players? There are no reserve players. Took half our roster just to make it here to the semifinals. We're all that's left. Well, there's always next year. Not so fast. According to the official Slugball rulebook, any substitution can be made from a non-registered player at any time, provided it's approved by the team captain. In case you hadn't noticed, Grendel, that's you. Can I see that? Well, what do you know? Then we can still win this game. We just need someone who knows Slugball well enough to be half decent out there. Hmm. Huh? What? I'm being told there's a substitution on the part of the rollers. That makes this as good a time as any to go over the official rules of Intercavern Slugball. On either side of the arena, there's a goal. Each of them is magnetized just like the player's gloves. Players can use any slug they want to stop another player or get them a goal. Boom, bam, just like that. And as if all that weren't enough, players also have to contend with one last obstacle, a series of automated arena traps randomly programmed by the first class technicians in game control. Hey, Dan, do you know how to get mustard stains out? I just use sandpaper. Welcome back. It's the start of the second period, and the rollers still lead three to one. <laughs> I don't know how long this lead's gonna last, Bob. Look at that rookie. And we're on. <laughs> Minor number 57 slips past Roller defense and goal! Miner's climbing back up the charts, Bob. <laughs> Roller's rookie Cordzade has possession. But he's taking the ball into the gauntlet, Bob. This newbie has a lot to learn about Slugball. <laughs> he clears a piston trap, but the Miner isn't so lucky. <laughs> oh, close call through the Friars. Dinks the blades and he's out! <laughs> That's right, Bob. Out like a light. Ouch. You okay, Cord? You don't have to do this. Are you kidding? Getting clobbered in a slugball championship is a lifelong dream. 64 with a long pass to 98, and it's another goal, tying it up three to three. What a game. <laughs> Miners again with possession. 57 has a clear shot. Here goes nothing. But wait, rookie roller number 28 out of nowhere. Damn, just like that. Unbelievable. I got it. Ah, I got it. I got the ball. There might be hope for this core kid yet, Bob. Well done, rookie. Now, how about you pass it? Oh, right, yeah, got it. Rookie 28 in an incredible move. Passes the ball, and the rollers are moving forwards. Traps activated, and the roller is stopped dead in his tracks. Whoa, 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 that's not right. We got a massive deployment in Quadrant 3. Looks like every single obstacle is firing. That's not right. Manual override, dial it back! None of the control switches are responding. I tell you, Bob, that oh. kid's making it look easy. Hey, I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Right. Can the celebration and stay with me. Stick close and watch for ramps. Yeah, ramps. Ramps deployed. I love this part. I hate this part. <laughs> <laughs> Electric bill for number 28. It's lights out, baby! Time out on the field. Number 28, Cord Zane, has taken a big hit and seems to be out cold. Oh, I know how that feels, Bob. Cord? Hmm? Cord, can you hear me? <laughs> Eli, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Are you all right, dude? Have we lost yet? Uh, nope. <laughs> now let's 
Let's get this show on the road! Yeah! That was lucky. That trap targeted Cord. I know Black and the Brutes are behind this. We've got to get some proof. <laughs> nice, yes. nice. Ah, you know that. Ah. You ask me, this whole thing is fishy. I mean, Black's been into some heavy-duty stuff lately. Blowing things up, taking over caverns, the big leagues. Now he's rigging a sports game? I'd hate to say it, but it's almost beneath him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eli? Well, well. Look who we have here. A rat. You like digging through other people's possessions, rat? I couldn't quite hear that. <laughs> then maybe I should speak up. Why, you little... Hey, cool it. We don't want any trouble. You're the one with the blaster, Missy. And cool or not, your friend was the one going through Thrasher's stuff. Cool it. I wouldn't be going through your stuff if the Blade City Brutes weren't cheating. I don't have to take that from a pipsqueak like you. Listen, Mr. Thrasher, was it? There's clearly been a misunderstanding, so I'm just going to take my friend and go, OK? <sighs> well, you were right. That was a huge waste of time. Nah. How do you figure? Shane's always miss the subtle solution. While you were scrapping with Thumper, I pulled this from his locker. What is it? Yeah! Miners yeah! score again, giving them a 5-3 lead. Down by two. Final timeout. What this team needs is one of Pronto's famous pep talks. Let me tell it to you as clean as I can. This is a team they say is good. Yeah! Let's get it! Works every time. It's a soldering tool. As in the kind you'd use to sabotage the circuit boards on the arena traps. Oh, yeah. This doesn't prove anything. You know Thrasher likes to work on mechas, right? Huh. <sighs> Look, kid, it's your friend. I sympathize. But slug ball is a dangerous game. Doesn't mean anything more than that. My suggestion to you is to go back out there and enjoy the game. Go! Rollers tied up in the third period. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. 5-5, five, five, just seconds on the clock. It all comes down to this. Whoever scores is going up against the Brutes in the finals. Miners on the approach. Ah! Great pass to 17, nearly offside there. Brawler's moving in, but it's no good as the Miners continue forward. This is championship level playing Bob. Rookie Cork Zane blasts an arachnid slug. It's an effective play, Bob, but a dime a dozen defensive move. But what is this? Thank you. Poop and doodle, the rookie's got the cookie, Bob! Ah! What a play. The 57th defenseman gets off his shot, and it's... Against all odds, the Shock and Rollers are in the finals. I tell you, Bob, I haven't been this excited since the mustard stain came out of my favorite trousers. We did it, guys. Um, Cord? None of them are in any shape to play. Which means the Brutes will win the cup. <sighs> Eli, this is ridiculous. Asking Cord to play was one thing, but this is just crazy. Well, what do you want to do? Just let Black's team cheat their way to the cup? You did say you told Primo how they cheated. Maybe he'll do something about it. You honestly think Primo will do something about it? If the Shock and Rollers forfeit, the Brutes get the cup. It might seem intimidating, but deep down, this game is about slug shooting. That's what we do every day. This is exactly like normal, just televised and hovering with 40,000 screaming fans. Oh, man. Good talk, Eli. Really inspiring. <clears throat> Allow me. This is a team they say is good. But I think we're better than that. Wait! You need to be inspired! And we're back with the Intercavern Slug Bowl Championship. 
where in a surprise substitution, Eli Shane and his gang will be going head to head with Dr. Black's Blade City Brutes for the Slug Bowl Cup. Blast, as an ex-player and Slug Bowl fan, this has got to make you happy. Seeing outclass newbies crushed on the playing field always makes me happy, Bob. Any last words, Rat? I make it a rule not to talk to cheaters. I didn't cheat. But I tell you what, you believe what you want. It'll lessen the sting when we bring home the cup. L-block RPMs are looking a little high. They might want to turn All that- All of you, out, now. Sir, it's the championship. The players are in the arena. And you know what they got that you don't? Jobs! Now go, go, move it! Let's see some hustle, people! <laughs> Here we go! Roots Captain gets possession! This Shane kid's in over his head, Robert! I've never seen a trap like this before! You yeah, all right, buddy? We should be careful. Something tells me that trap isn't exactly regulation. Roots Captain easily makes his way forward. Such dexterity, such soul! He lines up his shot and goal! The Brutes get the first goal of the finals. Reller substitute rider number 13, Pranto Jeremy Mole. Doesn't look good. Shouldn't even have the ball, Bob. He should be passing it. <laughs> Easily to the backside, Bob. Loose ball recovered by Thrasher. Oh, huh? Thrasher. You dropped your ball, buddy. Wow. Oh, no! I hope she has a good dentist. <laughs> Eli Shane fires a defensive cross crawler, which takes out a couple of brutes. <laughs> Am I imagining, or are these traps getting worse? <laughs> Go! You, you saved me. But then, you, you didn't, I mean... I told you, we weren't cheap. But the soldering tool, I found it in your locker. I found that under the arena. I was gonna confront the League about it before you took it. But if it wasn't you, then who? Primo! Where do you think you're going? To catch a rat. Hey, you get back here. We got a game to finish. <laughs> Primo, wait. I have to talk to you. I uh, can't talk now. I'm late for a dentist appointment. Try late again. <laughs> now maybe we can talk? <laughs> You'll never take me alive, kid. <laughs> Really starting to not like this guy. What did Black give you to fix the games, Primo? Is it money? <laughs> money? You're a cut up kid. Nah, I did a pro bono, real smart like. You mean you helped Black cheat for free? Why? Because Black Star is on the rise. You think he's gonna stop with Slug Ball? That is Black is gonna own this world, maybe more. Having him owe me a favor? That's just good business. Nice knowing you, kid! That guy gives our sport a bad name. Thrasher! Wait, why aren't you in the arena? You left. Figured I'd keep the numbers even. I'm not the kind of guy that likes to win by technicality. Okay, tie score, 30 seconds on the clock. This has to be it. I don't think we can beat these guys in OT. Now, the first thing we need to do is get the ball back, which I do have an idea on. Once we do that, it's straight down the middle. But we only have one working Mecha Beast. I know, which is why you'll be towing both of us. Eli's the one that's good with speeches, so I'll just say this. We can do it. 30 seconds left in the finals. It's 1-1, and the Brutes have possession. The Shane Gang are cruising for a boozing, Bob! <laughs> Eli Shane blasts off an Inferno Slug. Keeping the Brutes in check as Trixie and Court move up and over the trap Brutes. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? I'm being told it's a Slick Silver Slug. Transforms into a giant living ball of magnetized metal. Just like my skull! If I'd have thought of that back when I was playing, might not have had to retire in broken down shame! Come on, where are you? 
Uh, huh. Cord's got the ball, and here come the brutes. Eli! Only seconds left. have won the Slugball Championship Cup! Cord, that was amazing! What can I say? What can I say? It's a game of great subtlety and finesse. I gotta admit, I had my doubts about you, Eli. But you and your friends more than earned this. Thanks, but this doesn't belong to the Shane Gang. to me. I got rights. I want to talk to my lawyer. Hello? Is there anyone there? Relax, Mr. Presto. Don't strain yourself. Dr. Black, I don't understand. I, mean, I helped you. I, I tried to make it so your team won. I was just trying to help. By making people think I need to cheat to win. Huh. That is something I'd rather not advertise. <laughs> What's gonna happen to me? Oh, I'm sure I'll find some use for you, eventually. Dr. Black! Don't leave me here! Dr. Black!